God who shed his blood, who has ability to overcome any wickedness. For where wickedness abounds, my Bible says, grace doth much more abound. God's power shines even brighter, even greater. No matter how dark the devil tries to make it, no matter how much sin the devil stirs up in the heart of man, there will always be a church, a Bible believing. One God, apostolic, tongue-talking, holy-rolling, people of God are willing to pray and believe that God can save from the guttermost to the uttermost. He can take prostitutes and make them choir members. He can take drug dealers and make them deacons. He can take the, the worst sinner in the world and make them a man of God that can preach the word of God and turn the kingdom of hell upside down my God is able it's not too hard it's not too hard it's not too wicked God's power is still the same as it was 2,000 years ago oh, put your hands together and praise him Something has got to happen yes. in the hearts of God's people. There has got to become oh, yes, a brokenness yes. about the situation in front of us. Because in the book of Genesis, it tells us in verse 11 in the 600th year of Noah's life. In the second month, in the 17th day of the month, the same day where the fountains of the deep were broken up and the windows, someone say the windows, the windows of heaven became open. There's something about when the fountains of the deep become broken. When we can become moved yes. and we can weep yes. and travail yes. and become broken yes. over the state and the need of our hour. Because right. if we're not careful, we can become callous to it right. yes. and just be happy in the little cocoon yes. of our fluffy little Pentecostal apostolic yes. experience. Yes. And just sit back and be happy that I heard the truth and I'm going to heaven. Right. And I can't wait to get there. Yeah. And forget right. about the multitudes. Yes. Yes. Right. The deep God. Right. And when the fountains of the deep become broken, yes. something becomes released. There is a prayer you can pray. Wow. And that faith will open the windows of heaven. You see, there is a principle in the spirit realm uh, that God wants to release upon this church. Uh, and that is stirring up prayer warriors. Uh, I'm talking about prophetic prayer warriors. Uh, prophetic intercessors uh, that are gatekeepers. Uh, they stand at the gate with a key. Uh, and that key is to open the windows of oh, heaven. God has given you uh, the authority uh, to put that key in the door. It doesn't matter how much of hell is over your city. Uh, it doesn't matter how much of hell is coming against your home. Give me one prophetic intercessor. Give me one prophetic prayer warrior. And they have a key. And they can open the gates. And the windows of heaven can be opened up. And God's presence and glory and healing and power become poured out upon you. Oh, put your hands together and praise it right now. Come on. Somebody say, I want to be a key. Say, I want to be a key. Say, use me, Lord. To your neighbor and say, I hope you didn't lie. <laughs> open windows. Someone say, open windows. It's not a closed God who is withholding. Right. That's right. A God 
who has no desire to deliver, to bless, to set free, to work miracles. But it's a God that's standing there. And oh, he's just waiting yeah. for that one prayer. Yeah. For that one word of faith yeah. that will come up and open that window. Yeah. So they can say, I'm going to pour out my spirit on Birmingham, on Newcastle, on Leeds, on Oxford, all over this entire nation. And I'm looking for somebody to pray the prayer that will open the windows of faith. Oh, put your hands together and face it. Our faith can open windows. Because we serve a God of an abundance. You want to say abundance? He's not a stingy God. He's an abundant God. He's abundant in mercy. He's abundant in how He works with His people. Isaiah 55 verse 6 through 7 says Seek the Lord while he may be found Call upon him while he is near Let the wicked forsake his way And the unrighteous man his thoughts And let him return to the Lord And he will have mercy upon him And our God he will abundantly forgive. He will abundantly pardon. Someone say abundant. Abundant. It's not you have one chance with God and it's over. It's not three strikes and you're done with God. It's not seven times. My Bible says he has abundant pardon. I don't care how many times you've fallen. I don't care if you sit here tonight and you feel like you're a million miles from God. All you have to do with a sincere heart is lift your hands and say, God, will you forgive me? God, will you cleanse me? And he will come down and Take you in his arms and he'll wash away your sins. He'll give you the chance you've been looking for because he is a God of abundance. Oh, come on, somebody put your hands together and face it. God doesn't want us to pray, just get by prayers. Oh, God. Just provide just a little bit for me to somehow make it. I hear some people praying. They're not praying to an abundant God. They're praying, oh God, if there's any way, some way, somehow, God, can you move and supply this hundred pounds that I need? I can see God up there wringing his hands, turning to Michael and Gabriel and saying, what am I going to do? i got to come up with a hundred pounds. Not my God. He owns it all. There's nothing that my God is not able to do. He's looking for someone with some faith prayers. Some abundant, not just get by prayers. Not just as have two prayed through and one reclaimed. God, let's have a hundred soul revival in Leeds. Let's have a hundred soul revival in Oxford. Let's have a hundred soul revival in Liverpool, in London. God, pour your spirit out. God, you're an abundant God. I want to start praying some abundant prayers. Some faith prayers. That will move the hell. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together and praise it right now. Shut the heart up. Shut the heart up. He's a God of abundance. Oh, you should lift your hands right now. The windows of heaven are open, church. God's just waiting for somebody to pray the prayer of faith. Why don't you just do it right now? We're standing at an open window. We're stepping under a point that God is ready to pour out His Spirit. He's ready to pour out His blessing. He's ready to pour that finance out. He wants to see revival in your city more than you want to see it. He wants to see your church turn around more than you desire. It's time to start praying abundance prayers and to recognize we're standing under an open window of faith. I said, come on, let those words come out. God, I believe. God, I believe. We're going to save my 
my family. You're going to save my children. You're going to touch my lost loved ones. I believe you're going to supply every need according to your riches and glory. I believe you're going to heal my body. You're going to take this cancer away. You're going to take this diabetes away. You're going to take away this heart problem. You're going to take this pain away. Because I'm standing under open windows of somebody right now will start proclaiming in the Holy Ghost what you believe in God for. I wish somebody would start speaking some words of faith, some words of abundance that match the great God that you serve. than just singing songs. And I've never come to disrespect you. And I appreciate your wonderful culture. There's so much more to it. And just going through all the rituals that we're used to. You understand something? You can sing all the songs you want to sing. But if the windows of the heaven are not open, nothing will happen. The windows don't come open because someone knows how to sing or someone knows how to do something. It takes prayer. It takes faith. But you give me one child of God who knows how to touch heaven, who knows how to pray the prayer of faith. That person is a gatekeeper that will unlock the dimension of God. It is beyond what we understand or what we dwell in. Will bring us into that dimension of the supernatural. Will bring us into the power of God. The Bible tells us in the book of Luke 3 that when Jesus stood there in the Jordan River it says that Jesus became baptized and praying someone say praying Pray. it's more than just now I lay me down to sleep it's more than just some fancy prayer of Father God of the heavens and earth and the stars of somebody who knows how to become broken and the windows and the depths and the fountains of the deep where their spirit can be moved when he prayed, the Bible says that the heaven was opened. England needs somebody 